welcome to the Ross Sisters reunion! <laughs> oh, kiss! <laughs> I just can't see you. <laughs> wow. For, for people that have been along our journey since the beginning, it's almost been three years since us three have met. Yes. It will be at the time of when this happens. Yeah, we're, uh -huh. we're going to do a retreat based on those themes. The Bit. Q. Bit. <laughs> and free, and that ends September 28th, which marks the beginning three years ago of our community. September 28th, yeah. 2012. Mm -hmm. I think I was off floating around somewhere in Ethiopia, and I had no <laughs> idea all this was brewing. I had only known. <laughs> so how'd you do this? How'd you make this happen? Oh, I sat in a room and read a book for a month straight and envisioned hanging out with three of the coolest people in the entire world. <laughs> Is that for real? For real. Oh, tell, tell yeah. us a little bit more about that. I didn't well, know that. Seriously. When I was in Ethiopia, <laughs> I actually, you know, I spent a lot of time working with children, teaching English, teaching different business concepts to people. And then I spent a lot of downtime. And truth be told, I had never read a book before all the way through from cover to cover. So I decided to make that a goal. I picked this 500 page book and I sat in my room and I read this book cover to cover. But during that period, I obviously couldn't read straight for hours and hours and hours. So I would stop and I would meditate and I, I would get these visions of just... Did you picture our faces? Well, at the time, I was madly <laughs> in love with Steph and she didn't really know that. It is, it's for real. It's it's for real. Yeah. Sometimes he says things that sound so unreal, but I think they're yes. true. They're true. Just stick with them here. He's telling the truth. Sometimes I'm doing annual photo list. <laughs> and uh, I remember just thinking, just, just be patient. And I would pray for patience every day. And, it wasn't so much that I, I felt like I needed to have stuff in my life, but I kept envisioning what it would be like to be traveling around because I knew they were in uh, Peru, right? Yeah. Just wow. living this whole other extreme dream, and I was in Ethiopia. You're and, a <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt this connection, this divine connection, even though I really didn't know you all at all, and I had seen pictures of you and how you interacted with staff, and I just I loved how everyone was such a family immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was sitting there, and, and I really remember God telling me it will all come in time. You know, give it a year or two, and everything will start to flow together. And sure enough, stuff slowly came back into my life, and then here I am now with all of you all. And wow! <laughs> what was the book? I know, I know someone besides myself is wanting to you know. It's funny. I'm gonna have to research that because I can't remember. It was it was a really futuristic <laughs> book. It was not wild. A futuristic. Yeah. Wow. It was very. It, Explain the world in such a way that it actually flipped my world upside down for a little bit. So I will get you that title. Wow. Wow. Well, beyond having a casual conversation about futuristic 500-page books <laughs> and manifesting your reality three years ahead of time, we are here to announce that we are actually going to be doing a retreat together. In Utah! September 23rd through the 28th with the concepts of one more time. <laughs> Fit. Fly. Fearless. And free. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so the idea, I guess, for this video is we're going to maybe just uh, scratch the surface of each one of those subjects. And uh, I guess we'll start with the, the fit manifester over here. Right, totally. So I've been uh, piecing together different areas of my fitness career for the last three years now. And it, some of you may know me as a restaurateur in my past life. And I found myself really struggling to find the balance between my business life and my personal health. As my business was excelling gratefully, or, uh, amazingly, I ended up finding my health declining constantly. So I set out on a mission to begin piecing together ideas of how to find balance within my business life and my personal health. And over the last three years, my health has steadily been on the rise, uh, better and better. And I find a lot of unique modalities where I no longer am attached to a gym, no longer attached to a specific diet that I find entraps me in um, you know, fear and anxiety. And I would love to share those ideas with all of you. I would love to share your calves on the camera, but I'm not sure. <laughs> they better they, or, oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you oh, might have been dying on Josh and you had a calf on the camera. You're going to love pushing your face like they're feet. Y'all could. Y'all could have a calf on the I got a lot of pushing. My calves are going to have their own page soon. We have our, we have our calf off in this page. We'll have to take him on a hike see who. Yeah. Is that you? He's probably lava lights in Peru. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of calves and calves, 
Yes, that is one thing that Utah, I will, I will go ahead and guarantee that you will have some of the best raw milk you've ever had. Oh yeah. yeah. We have some nice mm -hmm. connections. Uh, actually, the so shirt good. that I'm wearing too, Redmond Clay and Real Salt, and they also have Real Foods oh. with um, some really happy cows that like to produce good milk for my nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> the food's going to be idea. epic because between the two of us with the cooking skills, mm -hmm. What? <laughs> like, I don't want like, to like say two words. <laughs> Banana crepe. This lady is Oh, she phenomenal. crushes that. Banana crepe. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> you, don't. you don't. Sometimes I think that uh, it's almost unfair that I get to eat those whenever I want. <laughs> but the good news for you, whoever's joining little, us, is you will... I feel a little bit, like, jealous that you <laughs> We eat pancakes for dinner every night. No joke. Mm -hmm. But, to jump to the flaw part, um, speaking of cats, it's like one of those things that Dan thinks are maybe a great feature, and I don't think that. And you know, we all have the things that we don't like about about ourselves that we call flaws. Mm -hmm. And a lot of a lot of people in general think that they have to be at a certain fitness level. They need to have their shit together. They need to look this way or do this or have the right job to be able to come on these retreats. And that's that is not the case. The point about or the the whole point of embracing your flaws is that you're perfect just the way you are, that there is nothing that you need to fix to be able to do something. You just have to want to do it. And then you start to learn how to embrace the parts that you don't like about yourself. And you can then change some of them you can change, not because you want to be fixed or you think that there's something wrong with you, but just because you want something better for yourself. Whether it's losing weight or, you know, getting a new job or just traveling more or finding the right right partner or whatever it is that you think is a flaw in your life. Mm. So we're not going to fix people? No. <laughs> mm. All right. I like it. So you've got, you're fit with Josh, you're flawed as Diana's talking about, and you're working through both of these things, but then the fear comes up. And being fearless is one of the hardest tasks in the world, but it's once you figure out how to do it, it's not that complicated. And all four of us have really worked very diligently to understand fear and how to break through it. And this retreat, something we want to provide for you, is just the opportunity to figure out your fears and how you can overcome them in order to achieve the things that you want the most in your life. And really, you know, pull all that great stuff to you without getting held back. Yeah, I definitely think there's a lot of freedom found in our fears, actually. And uh, that's if we, if we do decide to embrace them. Um, one of the ways I find freedom, actually, is just being able to sit here in front of the camera with the ones I love and not necessarily have a clear plan of what I'm about to say, but just let it flow through me. Um, just to let, I would almost call it like free thought or free thinking instead of regurgitating old concepts, but instead of doing that, just to let God speak through you, to let the Holy Spirit come through you, and that you can be a beacon and a vessel of that light. And a lot of that, I actually think a lot of freedom I found is realizing that sometimes the best plans are unplanned. Mm -hmm. And that this whole thing coming together was not necessarily, it's not some master plan I had for a while, but it's something that felt right in the moment and now to hear that Josh has maybe in, um, envisioned this three years ago is like, wow, when we just, when we let and allow things to work out, they work out amazingly. They really work out amazingly if you can glow with the flow and grow with the flow. And I think a lot of that has to do with surrounding yourself with the right type of people. And for all the retreats I've done in the past, the uh, Master Heart group that Josh and I are part of, Tanal In, the Rob Ross retreat that we were all a part of, what it is, it's, it's a really, it's a synergistic collaboration among people that are willing to let God work through them. And when you get that type of energy together, oh man, it's profound. It is, I mean, it's so valuable. I don't know if really there's any kind of price to put on it, um, but that'll be one of the things that I, I really want to focus in on this retreat is freedom, uh, not only holistically, but especially around finances. And that's uh, the project that Josh and I are embarking upon right now is basically on the path of getting paid to pursue our passion. 
And I really do believe the best way that we can tap into that to the highest degree is helping others do the same. So I want, personally, I want anyone that comes on this retreat to aid them or to catalyze them in finding that path. That really, the most valuable thing you can do is to find what you love to do, find what you're good at, um, and give your gift to as many people as possible. And that's where true riches are found. And just to stay grateful through that process. Is, man, it means, the, it means the world to me. Hmm. And it means the world to me to find people that are willing to do that with me. And to just partner, is so, to be able to partner with other people in that, in that pathway is very powerful. And I love alliterations. I adore alliterations. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really powerful too. I've always uh, thought that if you are looking to achieve something in your life, you want to emulate somebody who is already doing it or working towards it. And that's why I went on a Rob Ross retreat three, three years ago in September um, was to you know, figure out how to create that lifestyle for myself. And then uh, I really feel good about the fact that I've done that and uh, continue mm -hmm. to do that. So uh, I would just suggest that if there's something that you really want and you see it in any of us, that you know, come meet us, come talk to us, and you know, we're here to share what we know with you. Beyond all the mental workouts, we're gonna, <laughs> or mental explorations, we're gonna <laughs> explore a whole lot of Utah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can't miss that part. People are like, so and we're just gonna <laughs> like do that. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, like, we don't have to do if, The places that we are anticipating on showing you and taking you and having you experience, we don't really have to do much. We're just like, I'll, I'll just consider myself a cherry on top to if when we're going to places like the road to Zion. Oh man. And who's, have y'all been to Zion? Yeah. You have yeah. been to Utah. So these two. I haven't been. You've been to Zion? No. Yes, you we have. Never Are you kidding me, girl? That's oh, yeah, we did go to Zion. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. And how cool was that? <laughs> that was epic. I wanted to go back. Oh man, I forgot. And then there's Moab. I mean, I, I don't want. The, I was I really, confusing it with all the other national parks. Mm -hmm. We've been sure. so many places by now. It's like... I really want us to experience this journey together in an unatta like an mm -hmm. unattached perspective, mm -hmm. but without remaining attached to being unattached, we can give you some clues that we're going to start in Moab. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I think we're going to whitewater raft. Aren't there we? might be some rivers involved, Hello. and there might be some springs Speaking involved, of water, and there's some waterfalls involved. I hear that, uh, expect anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also hear that the, uh, was it the road to your heart is in Zion? Is that I've heard, yeah. Ooh, I've heard some the famous street. people say that, especially with <laughs> dreadlocks named Lauren Hill. <laughs> um, I think what got me the most excited though was because I trust this man of my life when it comes to spring water. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me verbatim, was it Zion? Moab. Moab has Moab. the best spring water he's ever had. They, and they actually call it the matrimony springs in the sense that once you drink it, you come back to Moab. And we drank that water a while back, and yeah, never now we're back. coming back. So just remember, I realize this is only a round trip, yeah. one round one of y'all's trip. Oh, I'm yeah. ready to get locked into Moab. <laughs> yeah, Utah is one of my favorite places in the whole world. It's got such a special energy to it. So I am just personally super pumped to go back there. I can't wait to show Josh. Yeah. yeah. And, well, one and, and Diana for her second time. <laughs> for I'll her just erase this so that I can get even more excited. Like, hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing that often happens is that we tend to have our everyday schedule to the T. Like we, you know when you're going to work, you know what you're having for breakfast, you know what's happening after. Like everything is planned out. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a trip for you where you literally don't have to do anything but show up and have the most amazing time ever without with letting go of that control freak part of you that I know I have, but sometimes it's good to let I go of that. Has to. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay for you as well. But this is you're gonna have to literally do nothing and just have the most amazing time of your life. You're gonna have to sit back, relax, and let amazing things happen. Yeah. And if you're willing to let amazing things happen, then they you will. are watching the right video and we'll see you in Utah. For more information about this epic trip. Just click on the link below and it will take you right to it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Seriously, seriously, I just want to be really clear that we don't need you to come because uh, yeah. well, we're going to have an amazing... Unavoidable success even if it's just me. <laughs> but I do desire, I do desire <laughs> you, I desire you to come if you desire it.
Well, we also think that that uh, Diana will have a better chance to remember it. If you come. <laughs> True. Help me out, will you? <laughs> Is the man in the middle of the leg? <laughs>